So I want to sort of understand your mindset, how you look at different industries, how you look at startups. So tell me a little bit about your analytical process. So they're, they're you know, from, a, from an investment standpoint, if you're looking at it from an investment standpoint, mm-hmm. really there are, you know, maybe five or six, six things that I kind of look at. Uh, as you know, there's probably dozens of, uh, you know, potential things that you have to look at. But uh, I would look at really maybe at five or six things that, that I look at all the time. One is, um, you know, the team. How, and again, I think that's the most important. And, and if entrepreneurs don't hear that enough, they should hear it again and again because they need to hear the fact that investors look at the team. So if you have a passionate team, you have a knowledgeable team, and uh, then then that's the first thing that um, someone is going to invest in. Is they're going to invest in the team because if the team is right, what's going to happen? That team is going to be able to change and pivot if things go in a different direction. Uh, mm-hmm. But if the team is not right, then that opportunity to invest is going to be potentially less than uh, having the right team. Second is, um, there is also the timing. So for example, if you're opening a restaurant today and you're trying to raise capital, not a good time, right? right. So, so timing is really important. Third, um, there is the term of what we're, of, of, the, of the opportunity. Are they raising money on a $50 million pre-money valuation, or is it on $3 million pre-money valuation? Right. So that becomes really big is the term. The other thing is, uh, for me, is also the, the back, even if the team is great and the passion is there and they, under, they, they understand how to build businesses, let's say, but do they have experience in that specific sector, mm-hmm. whatever they're doing? So yes, they may learn it, right? And if they're a good team, they may learn it, but then that's gonna take a longer time to get to where you want. If right. you've been in the hospitality industry, you're gonna know how to navigate that. You're gonna understand what it takes to build a sales team, etc. But if you've never done that before and you sold consumer products, then it's gonna take you a long time to understand that. Or maybe, if you're doing hospitals or healthcare or biotech, or uh, it's going to take a long time to understand what it takes. Right. Um, and and there's a lot more. But the last thing that I would say that I look at is is also uh, it could be it's go to market strategy slash uh, distribution strategy. So what does that mean? It's like how are you going to sell that product or service? when you to go to the market. So are you going to knock on every door and say, would you buy my product? Or are you going to have some kind of a distribution channel that minimizes your customer acquisition cost, and then you can sell to as many people as possible uh, with, uh, with, without having uh, a lot of direct sales? Um, so that's a, that's a big deal for me because it it and it ends up um, uh, really uh, minimizing customer acquisition cost and uh, understanding that this company is going to be scalable. So at the end of the day, that's what we want. We want to invest into something that becomes really scalable quickly, mm-hmm. and then have an exit uh, in say five years. Average is seven years. We say five, we say three, never happens. I think seven <laughs> to 11 is, is the average. Right. But those are the six points that uh, I usually kind of look at. That's fantastic. And uh, yeah, uh, such great points that, you know, I want to sort of dig into a little bit more because that go-to-market strategy, I think specifically that you talked about, so many people just say, oh yeah, I'm going to advertise on Facebook and I'm going to get $20 million worth of sales, right? Yeah. It, 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 it's, and you and I being in this industry, we know that that might have been true five years ago, but it isn't true anymore. Uh, yep. So tell me a little bit more about how you sort of dig into that uh, go-to-market strategy and how you sort of look at uh, different vectors that the entrepreneur might be considering. 